you, Josh. People were concerned about Mary O'Connor and her history. They also had issues with how Tampa Mayor Jane Castor selected her. This appointment, as you just heard Jeff say, has been controversial from the start, and it lasted less than a year. I'm the police chief in Tampa. I'm hoping that you'll just let us go tonight. The exchange between a chief and a deputy that sparked a resignation. November 12th, body camera video appears to show Tampa's top cop flash her badge to get out of a ticket. You ever need anything, call me. Years okay. ago in 1995, there was another traffic stop involving Mary O'Connor. No video then, just this mugshot. As a rookie, O'Connor was arrested for battery on an officer. Earlier this year, I found the incident mentioned in O'Connor's personnel file. Documents said O'Connor became loud and argumentative while in the passenger seat of the stopped car. She had to be restrained. She reportedly began kicking the windows and even punched the deputy in the chest. A month later, O'Connor was fired from the force, but the following year, she was reinstated as a police officer. Paperwork said O'Connor would be a probationary employee for a year. According to her file, she didn't get in any trouble that year or in the years leading up to her retirement in 2016. Then, in February, the old arrest became big news. It is Mary O'Connor who stood out. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor wanted O'Connor to be the city's top cop. Some in the community questioned if O'Connor, with that one blemish on her record, should be leading the department. Others within city council were unhappy with the mayor's selection process. In March, I asked O'Connor about that process. There was nothing about the process that you think should be different next time around. I wasn't here for it, but I hear the word transparency a lot. So back in January, the mayor held just one forum to introduce the finalists for police chief, and that forum was not open to the public. That's why some people in the community were not happy with how this was conducted. Now, before Mary O'Connor resigned this morning, she had an interview with Internal Affairs coming up at 6. You're going to hear what she had to say and how she explained the incident in an attempt to keep her job. I'm Investigator Masa Saidi, 8 on your side.